Hello, Leo, my awesome lions and lionesses. I miss you guys. Happy Friday to you. I hope you're going to have a beautiful, relaxing weekend that you are deserving. Leo, you want a soulmate reading to check up on the latest energies between you and your soulmate. First, as usual, we're going to ask what's coming up for you, what you'll be dealing with facing in your life, and how you're currently doing on your soulmate journey. Second part of this video, we're going to ask about your soulmate, whoever it is you're thinking of, concentrating on while watching this video, whether you're currently in contact with them or not. First, we're going to ask how this person is doing at this time and how they are currently relating to you emotionally, what's on their mind, what they're thinking, feeling at this time, especially in relation to you, Leo. Universe, please step in, show very clear and important messages for the sign of Leo, for Leo's highest good please universe please show us what's coming up for leo in their life and how is leo currently doing on their soulmate journey what's coming up for leo in their life and how is leo currently doing on their soulmate journey oh this one clearly wants to show up as extra message very important hmm yeah so your soulmate is popping up here very strongly. They're taking over your reading. <laughs> yeah. Wow. This person owes you apologies and they see that. They see that they owe you certain explanations, um, apologies. They need to make amends with you. They're holding on to you because they love you deeply. This person, uh, Leo, is in love with you and they're very slow to action. They want to approach you correctly, carefully. They don't want to make any mistakes. This person's in love with you completely, holding on to you, missing you like crazy, because when you add these four and one here, makes it five of pentacles. <sighs> hmm. Oh my gosh. Mm, mm, mm. They, they really are not the best communicators. Yeah, you see the sword is pointing down. Not only that, they showing up as a page of swords. This person is checking up on you heavily to see what you're doing, what you're up to, who is in your life. Um, they want to clear the air with you, but they need to communicate with you effectively, openly, listen to what you have to say as well, because great communicators are also great listeners, right? Yeah. Universe, please show us what's coming up for Leo. And how is Leo currently doing on their soulmate journey? Yeah, back and forth communication is heavily on their mind. They totally took over your reading. They really did. This is all them towards you, even though we asked about you directly. So in a few minutes, we're going to ask about you again to see how you're doing. This person wants to make peace with you, make amends with you. It's very important to them because they love you. But you see this? This person doesn't like to show emotional vulnerability. They don't like to feel such deep emotions. It scares them. This person likes to control their feelings. They don't like to communicate. They don't like to reach out. They don't like to uh, admit to their mistakes. We all make mistakes, but we need to admit to them in order to learn, right? So they pretend to be an emperor, but they really are a page of swords when it comes to communication, uh, when it comes to commitment. Um, but as far as their feelings are concerned for you, they love you deeply, genuinely, but they hide behind that emperor's persona. They don't like to show deep emotions. They hide them really well. Mm hmm Oh, they're totally in love with you. <laughs> they showed up twice as King of Cups. Here they're showing up as King of Cups with two cups, not one cup, which shows me that they know they're going to have to approach you because of how they feel about you, but they're trying to figure out how you currently feel towards them emotionally because they think that if they find out by some means how you currently feel, whether you love them or not, miss them or not, that it's going to help them determine how to approach you correctly because what they fear the most at this point is your rejection, uh, judgment, mostly rejection. Yeah. Universe, please show us. They're judging themselves big time. Yeah. They, they are 
very harsh on themselves. Um, yeah, they are very harsh on themselves. Mm -hmm. Universe, please show us hmm. what's coming up for Leo. How is Leo currently doing? Yeah, unexpected communication, communication, passionate communication. Oof, there were some serious fights, disagreements between you two. And you told them what time it is. They respect you for it. They didn't like it, but they respect you for it. Yeah, so they have history of this kind of behavior, being in and out, in and out of people's lives, you see. Um, not being clear in what it is they're looking for, how they feel. Yeah, you see this? A lot of questions um, on your side because they're not being clear. They're not really telling you, hey, Leo, this is what I would like to see happen or this is how I feel. You see, there's, there's not enough consistent open line of communication. Look how depressed they are, heartbroken, devastated over losing you. This person misses you like crazy. Yeah. They miss you so much. Love you deeply. But you see, your cup is broken. Not only doesn't it have liquid in it, it's broken. Which means that presently they view you as letting them go. Not loving them. Not missing them. That's what they think. But their cup is not broken. It's intact. But there's no liquid in it. So they love you deeply. But... They don't express it. They have very hard time expressing emotions and showing emotional vulnerability in relationships. Let's see what's going on here. Universe, please show us. They're spying on you. This is a spycraft card more than any other through videos like this, private reading, social media, any way they can. Universe, please show us. There's a lot they want to tell you because they're holding a bird on their hand, on their finger. Universe, please show us. Hmm. What's going on? Clarification for Leo's highest good. Yeah, they're very much set in their ways. Very set in their ways. Look how much they miss you. Six of Cups. Reminiscing of you, thinking of you, missing you. Again, this person feels they need to make amends with you. Apologize to you. But it's hard for them to apologize. Yeah, it's hard for them. Look how much they love you. A lot of love for you. A lot of love. Ten of Cups, Six of Cups. Hmm. Let me see what's going on with fabulous Leos. This is for Leo now. Oh, Leo. Universe, please show us. What's coming up for Leo? How is Leo doing? What's coming up for Leo? And how is Leo currently doing? Oh, my goodness. You've been through so many emotional roller coasters, emotional highs and uh, downs. Yeah. Mm, highs and lows, ups and downs uh, in this relationship. Mm -hmm. Ooh, you're manifesting something. So you're striving to accomplish something of great importance to you, whether it has to do with your job, or family, yeah, something is very important to you, and you guess what? If you continue being passionate about what you want to see uh, in your life, you're going to get it. You see, this is wish fulfillment. You love this person, but um, you're not chasing them because you know that they need to meet you halfway, which they're not doing. You see, the sword is pointing down again. They eventually are going to reach out to you. How you react to them will be up to you. Beautiful. The best card in the whole deck, the sun, which, by the way, represents Leo. How beautiful is this? This is you striving to do your best. This is you having good karma. This is you being victorious after great emotional struggles in life. Yeah. After many setbacks from people that... Uh, went authentic in your life. Mm -hmm. This is you striving and succeeding. Universe, please show us what's coming up for Leo. How is Leo doing? New soulmate popping up here for you. Yeah, new soulmate popping up. Remember, Leo, you have free will. You will decide who you feel is best suitable for you, whether you want to be alone with the new soulmate 
or let the soulmate you're letting go of back in. That's up to you. Yeah, you want to reconcile with the soulmate. You still love them. You want to reconcile with them, but you know that will only be possible if they finally meet you halfway. You know that you cannot do their work for them, that they need to meet you halfway. Yeah, you can't just have one person working on a relationship around the clock and the other one is just sitting there looking pretty or handsome. That's not going to work, right? Yeah. Look how psychic you are, how intuitive you are, how aware you are. How beautiful is this? You have deep spiritual awareness. You read people very well. Yeah, you do. Oh my gosh, look how much heartbreak you've been through. You've been through a lot of heartbreak. This is you protecting your heart, not allowing people to... Yeah, you are protecting your heart. You are guarded, careful who you trust, especially emotionally. You have doubts when it comes to this person, even though you love them. You have doubts. You are not going to just trust them foolishly. Uh, if you decide to give them another chance, you're going to observe them, watch them, uh, observe their behavior towards you to see if they really mean what they say. Beautiful. So you're letting some toxic people go for good. Certain toxic people in your life that have drained you over time, including toxic relatives, friends, co-workers, neighbors, you're saying enough is enough. Look how powerful you are. Magician and high priestess together. You are succeeding at your job. This is success at your job or business. This is jealousy towards you at your job or business. So, you know, that means you're doing something right. Never let uh, toxic people uh, make you feel unworthy. Never question your sound judgment. You yourself are manifesting your soulmate. You are doing it. Yeah. Hmm. Very interesting. Let me see what's going on here. You know, please show us what's coming up for Leo. How is Leo currently doing? Yeah, you see very clearly, this is you having clear vision of what's really going on around you, who's authentic, who's not. You see the devil here? You see very clearly who does not belong in your life. Yeah, wow. <sighs> The person you've been letting go of that you still care about um, sets you back quite a bit emotionally. Yeah. This is you meeting people of quality, not allowing any people from your past to drain you more. Yeah. You worry too much at times. You shouldn't worry about things that you can't change. Yeah. If it's something you can change, yeah, change it and don't worry about it. If it's something you can't change, let it go. Release it to higher power through prayer meditation. There are certain people from your life, from your past, that will try to come back to you, um, but they showing up are still toxic. Yeah, you already see who they are, whether it's family members, friends. Yeah. Wow, Leo, we're going to go into your extended reading. We're going to ask about the soulmate that loves you so much that you're letting go of at this time. Uh, and also about the new soulmate that popped up as lovers with judgment and the sun. First, however, we're going to ask about this soulmate's true, genuine, long-term intentions and plans for you at this time. What they planning long-term? Then we're going to ask what they currently hiding from you, whether purposely or can communicate for whatever reason, but the universe feels you need to be aware of for your highest good. And of course, at the end, we're going to ask advice for you on how to best handle the soulmate connection at this time. And anything else you need to know about your life, including new soulmate entering your life. Yeah, the lovers with the judgment and the sun energy, new chapters, new beginnings in your life. Also your health, finances, business, job opportunities, family members, friendships, whatever it is you need to know, they'll show it at the end of the reading as well. So Leo, click on the extended link below this video in the description box below, and I'll see you there. Love you guys.